I mean, and I know it's kind of a weird time, but I was just wondering um, what is going to happen to us on Monday when we're all together again. I mean, I consider you guys my friends. I'm not wrong, am I? No. So, so on Monday, what happens? Are we still friends, you mean? We're friends now, that is? Yeah. Do you want the truth? Yeah, I want the truth. I don't think so. With all of us or just John? all of you. That's a real nice attitude, Claire. Oh, be honest, Andy. If Brian came walking up to you in the hall on Monday, what would you do? I mean, picture this. You're there with all the sports. I know exactly what you'd do. You'd say hi to him, and when he left, you'd cut him all up so your friends wouldn't think that you really liked him. No way. Okay. What if I came up to you? Same exact thing. You are a bitch! Why? Because I'm telling the truth? That makes me a bitch? No, because you know how shitty that is to do to someone. And you don't got the balls to stand up to your friends and tell them that you're going to like who you want to like. Okay, what about you, you hypocrite? Why don't you take Allison to one of your heavy metal vomit parties? <gasps> or take Brian out to the parking lot at lunch and get higher? What about Andy, for that matter? What about me? What would your friends say if we were walking down the hall together? They'd laugh their asses off, and you'd probably tell them that you were doing it with me so they'd forgive you for being seen with me. Don't you ever talk about my friends. You don't know any of my friends, you don't look at any of my friends, and you certainly wouldn't condescend to speak to any of my friends. So you just stick to the things that you know. Shopping, nail polish, your father's BMW, and your poor, rich, drunk mother in the Caribbean. Shut up! And as far as being concerned about what's going to happen when you and I walk down the hallways of school, you can forget it, because it's never going to happen. Just bury your head in the sand and wait for your fucking prom. I hate you. Yeah? Good. Okay, then I assume Alice and I are better people than you guys, huh? Us weirdos. Would you do, Would you do that to me? I don't have any friends. Well, if you did... No. And I don't think the kind of friends I'd have would mind. I just want to tell each of you that I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't and I will not. Because I think that's real shitty. Your friends wouldn't mind because they look up to us. You're so conceited, Clint. You're so conceited. You're so, like full of yourself. Why are you like that? I'm not saying that to be conceited. I hate it. I hate having to go along with everything my friends say. Then why do you do it? No, I don't. You don't understand. You don't. You're not friends with the same kind of people that Annie and I are friends with. You know, you just don't understand the pressure that they can put on you. I don't understand what? You think I don't understand pressure, Claire? Well, fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> you I'm here today. Do you? I'm here. Mr. Ryan found a gun in the locker. Why did you have a gun in your locker? I tried. I didn't pull a fucking trunk on it. You know, the light's supposed to go on. It didn't go on, I mean. What's the gun for? You brought it up, man. I can't have an F. I can't have it. I don't know my parents can have it. Even if I ace the rest of the semester, I'm still only a B. Everything's moving. Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> Thank you.
different options, you know? No, killing yourself is not an option. Well, I didn't do it, did I? No, I don't think so. It was a handgun? That was a flare gun. Went off in my locker. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> You're laughing at me. <laughs> no! Yeah, you are.